Now, it sounds like a tribute from another age, a water debt owed to a country by its rich neighbour. It's the reality for Mexico, thanks to a 75-year-old deal with America, and the consequences of paying it are being felt by some of its poorest farmers. They have occupied a dam close to the US border for more than a month. The Baquia Dam is one of two dams critical to farmers in the northern region of Chihuahua. From there, our chief correspondent, Stuart Ramsey, reports on the tensions over the increasingly precious reserves of water. Of the world's natural resources, water is perhaps the most important. We can't live without it. But as temperatures increase in some places around the world, it simply disappears. Future water wars will likely eclipse current issues. And future water wars could tear the world apart. And there are signs it's beginning. These farmers have taken over a dam from Mexico's National Guard. It's a coordinated city. It's already been violent. One female farmer was shot dead by the guards. Chihuahua State is one of the richest farming areas in Mexico, an industry dependent on its waterways and dams. But the government has to pay a water debt to the United States. And to do that, they need to drain La Baquia Dam and send it to the United States. It's actually a reasonable treaty for Mexico it's just not good for Chihuahua. The 20,000 farmers here say the water is, according to the water treaty, legally theirs. Jorge Gutierrez is one of the farmers in this surprising uprising. He says they won't budge. All the farmers, you can see back, back down there, we depends from this water, 20,000 20, families. Uh, it's a huge mistake from government, Mexico government to stolen this water from us because this dam is not for that reason. The National Guard, supported by the army, have taken over surrounding dams and control points that direct the water across the border to Texas. This is an unprecedented show of force for an issue that's gone on for years. The 70-year-old treaty sees Mexico and America sharing this precious resource. But the temperature has changed and there's less water. So both sides are preparing for a potential fight. The lucrative pecan nut harvest, which will be entirely exported to the United States, is underway. Jorge and his colleagues employ thousands of people to work the farms. Without huge amounts of water, none of this would exist. Without the water in the dam, the farms will die in the heat. They're appealing to the president to break the impasse and avoid more violence. We make a Mexico uh, president responsible because he is in the... He is the the power to stop this, yeah. only him. We are not criminals, just farmers. We come to work, it's all. We need water for work. The fact is that Mexico does owe America the water, and it seems the government doesn't want to fight with President Trump. In essence, nobody is really at fault here. The problem is, it's just stopped raining. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News, Mexico.